Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. There is a very important blood test for insulin resistance, which most people have never had before. And I made a video last year about this particular blood test. We have an absolute pandemic of insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Millions of people are having their physical and mental health devastated by insulin resistance. And yes, I said physical and mental health. And we all know the blood tests which are most commonly used, including fasting glucose, glucose tolerance tests, and also HbA1c. But the particular blood test, which is completely underutilized, is called HOMA-IR. Most people with prediabetes or diabetes have never had this test. Indeed, with the current state of affairs, most doctors don't even know about this blood test. So I want to share this very important video with you again. If you remember the video I made last year, then that's fine. But if you don't remember or didn't see the video, please watch on and take some notes because you need to know what tests to ask for in order to calculate this number. And also, if insulin resistance, pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes is a problem for you, then I have created a free booklet download down below to inform you of the fundamental principles if you want to naturally reverse the illness. Okay, everybody, sit back. Here we go. The video with a few added points from last year. Hi, everyone. Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. There is an extremely important blood test which will help determine anybody's baseline level of metabolic health. And I've talked about this blood test before. Now, there are other blood tests as well which will determine anyone's metabolic health and I'll certainly talk about those in the future. But I actually believe that this blood test is one of the most important. And it's emblematic of the complete clown world that we're living in that if you were to go out there and ask most doctors about this blood test, they haven't even heard of the blood test. It is not taught enough, it is not stressed enough because we have a medical establishment that is completely focused on fixing things through expensive treatments. Why think about prevention and addressing root causes when there's money to be made from actually treating problems when they occur years down the line. That is the attitude of many at the top of the medical establishment and it needs to change. So this blood test will help you determine whether you have insulin resistance syndrome. You may have never heard of this condition before but it is the precursor to diabetes. Millions and millions of people have insulin resistance syndrome and it's all around us primarily because of our terrible modern day lifestyles. And the problem with insulin resistance syndrome is that it is the primary driver of many chronic physical and mental diseases. Yes, I said mental diseases as well. So we really need to start thinking about this more. So what is the blood test? It is known as HOMA-IR, Homeostatic Model Assessment for Insulin Resistance. So what does HOMA-IR tell you? It tells you how hard your body is working to bring your glucose levels down. Glucose, sugar, is extremely toxic for the body. So much so that the first thing your body does when you consume sugar or complex carbohydrates is kick in mechanisms to immediately work hard to lower your blood sugar because high blood sugar levels are extremely damaging to your metabolic health to your immune health, to other cellular processes, so you cannot have high blood sugars. And that is why you see diabetics with so many of these problems, and we've witnessed that over the last three years, how diabetes was one of the worst risk factors for being hurt by the pandemic. And that is because high blood sugars wreak absolute havoc on your body. So being healthy means that your body doesn't have to work hard to lower your blood glucose levels. So how is HOMA-IR calculated? Well, it is a calculation where you multiply your fasting glucose by your fasting insulin. And then depending on what region of the world you're in and what units you are using, you will either divide by 405 or 22.5, whether you're in North America or in Europe. But what I highly recommend is use an online calculator that is calibrated for your particular region of the world to come up with a number. So what does the number mean? Well, you want your HOMA IR to be as close to one as possible, ideally less than one. And that will indicate that you are insulin sensitive. 
As the number gets up towards two, that will indicate insulin resistance. And as the number gets even higher, three, four, five, that usually goes with full blown diabetes. So you want the number ideally under one to indicate that you are insulin sensitive. Insulin resistance is as the number creeps up towards two or more. And why is this blood test so good? Well, it will indicate that you have a problem potentially years before it will show up in other blood tests. Now, I'm not saying that other blood tests which are related to insulin resistance, such as fasting glucose and HbA1c, which you've probably heard of, are not useful. Those blood tests are useful, but I really do like the HOMA IR because it will tell you well in advance whether you are going down the wrong route. And unfortunately, nowadays, millions and millions of people are basically set up to go down the wrong road because our entire system sets people up for a lifetime of chronic illness. And that's primarily because we are surrounded by all the wrong types of foods. Junk foods, ultra processed foods, very high in sugars. Remember, many sugars are hidden in foods, other artificial pro-inflammatory substances, additives, seed oils, and of course, refined carbohydrates. When anyone consumes these foods, they send your glucose and insulin levels up and your body has to work harder and harder to lower your glucose levels. And rest assured, if people continue down this path, then pre-diabetes, diabetes will occur. And remember, insulin is the key hormone here that is secreted when you take in carbohydrates, simple sugars, etc. And I can guarantee you this, if you go back in time and measure the HOMA IR levels of your great grandparents, they are probably much better than yours are today. And that is for a reason. That is because of these terrible food substances. So please do go to your doctor and ask for a HOMA IR. The chances are, as I said at the beginning, that they won't have a clue what you're talking about. Hopefully you have a curious doctor that you yourself can educate. Maybe take them some printouts yourself. Hopefully you can do so cordially and politely and you can get the test done. But if worse comes to worst, you can get a lot of these tests done in labs in different places that will do them. You can go online and check in your area and you can get your fasting glucose and fasting insulin levels and you can do the calculation yourself. Now, if you look at the news and you think that the numbers for type two diabetes are bad now, just you wait 10 or 20 years and see what's in store for us because the way things are going for both adults and children, yes, children are now being affected by this, the numbers are going to completely explode within the next 10 to 20 years. The path is inevitable for so many people and it's so sad that our establishment that profits off this is not doing anything, not doing anywhere nearly enough to address the root causes of this problem. Get real food to people, make real food the default cheapest option for most people out there and have a campaign even bigger than the campaign against big tobacco. Remember, millions and millions of people, every other person used to smoke a few decades ago. So this can be done, but you need the right drive from the top. And we have to get all of these players that profit from people being sick out of the equation completely because they want people to go down this road. And the good news is if you have insulin resistance, it is very reversible simply by going back to eating real food and understanding what will happen to you if you don't make changes in your life. And people underestimate how much their lives will be transformed. If you have insulin resistance, the difference to your physical, mental health, and even energy levels will be immense if you take care of this problem that you have. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you get the blood test done and you feel comfortable sharing the result down below, please do so because the more people that know about the pandemic of insulin resistance and how it is driving so many of our physical and mental issues in society, the better. Dr. Sunil Dan, check out my online course and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. And remember, if you get to your 40s, 50s, 60s, and these problems start to creep in, many people actually nowadays have these problems even younger, it does not have to be an inevitable path down the road of becoming a recurrent customer for the medical establishment and big pharma. Remember, there are huge swathes of the establishment that are setting you up for that. That's what they want for you and your family. You can say no. Your health and your family's health is in your hands. 
educate yourself, be empowered, and make the right choices every day. Thanks everyone again. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again very soon.